Hello, hello. What? It's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and I'm back with some more Shadows of the Damned with Garcia and Johnson here in the chapter As Evil As Dead. This is going to be the Evil Dead parody chapter that I uh, thought the previous one would be, and uh, this one is definitely uh, striking echoes of Evil Dead. If you've ever seen that movie, you'll know that it does take place in a heavily wooded area, and I'm pretty sure we'll run into a couple of uh, cabins or two along the way. Anyway, the reason why I'm not moving is because I just wanted to get that little introduction out of the way, because there is uh, going to be a little chase sequence, if I recall correctly here, uh, that's going to happen soon. Uh, before I continue, um, let me just uh, do a little recap here. So, basically, <clears throat> in the previous uh, videos, we were able to find another blue gem and fit it into uh, Johnson's skull, or Johnson, since he is a skull, and uh, that blue gem transformed the uh, the boner into the hot boner here. So as you can see, uh, holding aim and holding the secondary fire button will cause the weapon to charge, and uh, we can then use it to um, uh, explode. So if we shoot that charge, it will it will blow up. So uh, let me see if I can demonstrate that for you right here. There we go. As you can see, it uh, it's starting to charge a lot of uh, a lot of energy here. You'll also notice that on the right hand side, my ammo gauge has depleted by one, even though I haven't shot a projectile yet. And there's the projectile. And if you shoot it again, boom! Nice little explosion. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on. And let's see. Here we are. Here's the sequence that I was talking about early uh, earlier. Oh God! So. Uh, yeah, I believe if Paula catches you here, you're pretty much screwed because um, she will insta-kill you, I think. I'm pretty sure she will insta-kill you here, so we just gotta manage our uh, our sprinting. I don't think she can catch up to a fully sprinting uh, Garcia, but you also gotta remember that Garcia can't sprint indefinitely. <laughs> I like how he's uh, relating this particular story while we're doing this. Uh, this little sequence, it's very uh, very much related. Okay, anyway. We got to One-Eyed Willie. And... Looks like she got spirited away by one of the Sisters Grimm. We have faced a, sisters, uh, a Grimm sister before. It's looking like it's going to be the same pattern of dodging. And then uh, just waiting until they summon the darkness and then hitting them with a light shot, unless there's some extra tricks here. Okay, here's the darkness, and now we can... Oh god, they split. she splits into two. But uh, we can hit one of them. Whoa. And hopefully it'll dispel the, the illusion here. Ow. Come on, stay still. Okay, good. Looks like we can minimize the damage here, and then once they're stunned like that, then we can go to town on that red gem, that blood pack there. So I guess that's uh, that's the only gimmick here. We have to dispel two illusions instead of one. Whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe it's not just one, or maybe it's not just two. Now there's a whole group of them. Getting a little low on health here. Let's go ahead and down some booze. Whoa! Looks like I got the right one here. Oh, I can't see the blood gem. Oh no, what a waste. Okay, let's try that again. Anyway, I was going back in some post-production, um, I think yesterday, and <laughs> it's kind of amazing how much, uh, you can tell uh, if I'm if I'm recording late at night when I have to be quiet versus uh, a more appropriate time. <laughs> I guess just for the sake of uh, the recording's qualities, I'm just going to be doing all my recordings earlier instead of at the dead of night. <laughs> God, okay, I'm going to guess it's this one right here. Yeah, because it seems like the blood pack was a little bit more uh, dominant on the character design. It's like uh, the contrast there was a little bit better. The color was a little bit better. Which one do I pick here? This one. Ow! Totally failed there. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Gotta get this one right here in the middle. There we go. 
good. Probably heal up with some sake. Straight back into the darkness. It looks like they don't even, uh, after a while, they don't even care about launching projectiles at you anymore. Since they have this gimmick to go through. Where is... Okay, there it is. Ah, no! Just stay still for me. Just, oh god, okay. Come on. Actually, you know what? I probably should be switching to the Skull Cushioner after a while. <laughs> and as I say that, I go to the, uh, the, the Teether instead. Yeah, I guess the, uh, the Teether is a little bit better. Maybe it's just me, or the Teether is a little bit easier to, to aim. Where is the Red Gem? Oh god, I don't see it. Do you guys do? Do you guys see it? I, oh wait, it's at the very end. Ow! Oh god, okay, I better heal. <laughs> Looks like I totally lost it there. Um, where is it? There it is. Let's switch to the Skull Cushioner for this one. One shot. And that's it for this Grim Sister. I'm wondering if, uh, you know, that, that permanently dispels them, or if it's just a temporary thing. But, uh, you know, the, the acquisition of a blue gem would probably suggest that it's a permanent defeat. Let's see if I can grab some more ammo here. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, yeah, the difference in uh, the enthusiasm and the uh, volume of my voice between late-night recordings and uh, not late-night recordings is pretty profound. Um... <laughs> In fact, some of my late night recordings sounds like I'm a little bit on the uh, on some cough syrup or some purple drink there. So <laughs> I guess I'll just uh, try and avoid that for my own for my own sanity. Um, okay, so we've got a checkpoint. Looks like we need to head into the darkness, and looks like it's just a straight run to the finish here. So just go ahead and head down there. There is another blue gem, and. Uh, Yikes, a lot of demons just wandering around trying to prevent us from getting there. If you guys don't remember, uh, once you're in the darkness here, slowly your health will drain. Enemies are invincible. And uh, the only way to prevent slow draining damage from the darkness is to collect those hearts. Okay, great. So I got a blue gem. Now here's a pretty prize. Mm -hmm, I smell an upgrade. It looks Put like it in, one of our weapons are going to be upgraded. Probably the teeth are in this case. So the teether becomes the teeth grinder. And it looks like the rate of fire has doubled. Sounds good. Well, actually if the uh, the magazine size hasn't hasn't changed, we'll probably have to upgrade the uh, clip capacity on this thing. Okay, it looks like that blue gem that we picked up from that fight uh, disappeared into the darkness. So instead of getting two, we actually only got one. Okay. Actually, let's let's test out the rate of fire on this thing. Uh, okay, I can see where where uh, doubling the rate of fire can, can come comes from. Uh, it looks like each of these little tendrils here is a separate barrel with its own separate laser sight. Anyway, the um, the Evil Dead reference earlier was with Paula uh, just running at you, crazy and possessed. That's definitely something that happens in those uh, in that Sam Raimi movie. Looks like that demon gate wants an eyeball. Here are some quick enemies to try this thing out on. Looks like we beheaded that one. Seems a little bit harder to line up a headshot on this thing. Maybe it's just me. Let's switch to a different weapon here. There we go. never get tired of that. I wonder if these guys are essentially unlimited at this point. Whoa. Oh! 
Looks like the uh, the light shot's done. It didn't really last as long as I wanted it to there. Oh, looks like these guys are armored. Hey, I want the, uh, the hop over. There we go. And it looks like, uh, you know, if they're even in the proximity of that blast, it'll still affect them. This guy just ducking low. I think that's the first time I've seen that, an enemy uh, coming uh, coming in low like that. Alright, well, getting through that little gauntlet, as you can see, grants us the eyeball. And uh, maybe we'll have a peaceful respite here to take in some more of the environs. I really like the uh, look of this level, especially with the creepy dolls. I wonder if I can shoot this guy off. I can get it to speed up. Well, that's about it. Alright, let's go ahead and head through the demon gate. Anyway, um, just a little status update on the rest of the channel here. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be gravitating more uh, towards... Oh, wait, I have to set this guy off. My truck, there we go. Towards um, have taken a shine to us. PC games. The uh, Zone of the Enders HD Remix is, in fact, really, really plagued. We can't see their eyes if they're wearing masks. Uh, with uh, an FPS or a frames problem, a uh, frame rate problem. So uh, I don't really want to deal with that at this point. So, uh, here's hoping that Konami will put out, say, uh, a patch for it, because, like I said, I really don't want to deal with it at this point. Where is the... lost the sushi lamp there for a bit. But, uh, yeah, so this is probably going to be my only PS3 game for the, for the uh, time being, and uh, I'm just going to be uh, trying to finish Black Mesa, and, of course, Dishonored. Let's go ahead and blow that guy up. Probably don't need those white gems right this minute, but you know what? Let's go ahead and grab them. <laughs> I mean, the sushi lamp's only right over here. I'm guessing uh, I need to take care of all these guys anyway, so... Let's go ahead and take care of all these guys. Maybe uh, the sushi lamp will take us to where we need to be once all the enemies are. Uh, something I just noticed now, which I think should have been a little bit more obvious, is is the fact that uh, the enemies with the masks on seem to just ignore the fact that I have a sushi lamp with me. They don't seem to be uh, as affected as their brethren without masks. This guy, for example, jeez. Is he gonna come back? Yeah, he is. Whoa! Where is he? Can't really line up a good uh, light shot on him. <laughs> you know, if, uh, if you're getting a little seasick, I am too. Let's see if I can put this guy out of his misery. Come on. Oh, I can't really melee him, unfortunately. Like, uh, we'll probably have to give him a dose of the skull pusher to come on. There we go. Alright, well, that was pretty much right on schedule. It looks like the uh, sushi lamp took me all the way from uh, probably that gate back there, that demon gate, uh, all around this courtyard and finally to this cabin. And again, if you're a fan of uh, the Evil Dead, this looks very, very familiar. And I think I, I checked a couple of days ago, The Evil Dead is up on Netflix, so if you haven't checked out that 1980 classic uh, horror film, definitely check it out. Um, and then, I don't think the uh, sequels, Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness are in there, but uh, if you have a chance to watch them elsewhere, definitely do so. <laughs> it looks like Paula was going to try and uh, take us out there. So we are stuck in this cabin. Why do I feel like I'm in a movie? <laughs> what, were you raised in a barn? Good to know we have the same taste. And they even have a demon in the trapdoor. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's see what the, uh, what's in these crates. It's like it's just ammo. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that healing item. There we go. And... Yeah, the whole premise of, of The Evil Dead is the, the main character is trapped in a cabin. 
and uh, beset by evil forces all around him. Do I have to pop this guy? No, it doesn't look like I can. Can I interact with him? <laughs> wow. Looks like Garcia doesn't take taunting too well. Anyway, uh, can I head down? It doesn't look like I can head down. How about... Oh, jeez. Looks like we have some visitors. We're gonna have to take care of them. Whoa. For God's sake, how do you stop them? <laughs> Popping him in its melee right there. How else? Probably should get out of this corner. <laughs> Whoa. If anything, I think I should probably. If there's an option to increase the, uh, the shot range on this thing. The arc at which the shot spreads, I should probably look into that. Because pretty close to these demons, and they seem to be avoiding my Skullcrusher shots pretty well. That and uh, I'm also a horrible shot. <laughs> oh! It's like the big kahunas in here. Motherfuck! Whoa! wonder how this is gonna work out. Alright, well, it looks like she's out of her insta-kill mode. She crawled away elsewhere. Let's go ahead and uh, reload all of our weapons. Make sure that we're well stocked for the next fight. It looks like we have some teether ammo in the corner. Go ahead and grab that. And here we have another tome. So you guys know what this is. This is another story time. I think I'll go ahead and read this book and then call it a video here since we're getting close to the 20 minute mark. This is The Legend of Stinky Crow. The Legend of of the stinky crow. Call, call. For nearly 14 years, his mind had been soaring miles above. But Elliot Thomas was still stuck down on Earth in the boring town of Simchester. <laughs> Simchester. Sinster. What? It's pronounced Sinster. How do you know? My cousin's from Sinster. Don't, don't, never mind. Keep going. <sighs> British pronunciation joke Alone there. in his treehouse, he glued feathers to his winged suit, readying himself for the day he would join the Phoenixes and Quetzalcoatls in the sky. Dinner time, cried his mother from their house across the yard. Elliot sat at the center of the table. A TV dinner was challenged his B.O. as the dominant smell in the room. <laughs> On his left, his mother yammered about her day at the ER. On his right, his father was absorbed in his smartphone. As for Elliot, his eyes were fixed on the ceiling fan. The most fascinating personality within a ten-foot radius. You uh, definitely can tell from this picture that uh, Stinky Crow, Elliot, Elliot Thomas here, he is, um, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a special kid. Anyway, if you're not familiar with uh, the tome that we encountered earlier in a previous video, uh, these storybooks essentially tell the origin tales of uh, each of the mini-bosses that we meet. Uh, earlier we uh, read uh, the story for George Reed, who was... Um, the uh, cannibal who swallowed a harmonica <laughs> and eventually turned into a series of bosses in previous acts. So let's go ahead and continue with Elliot's story here. In homeroom the next day, Justin Schmuckowski threw a crappy paper airplane at him. Within seconds, Elliot had built a superior vessel. He stood up on his chair and swiftly launched the Papier Flieger. What? At his unsuspecting <laughs> enemy. Go, Papier Flieger, go! Zoom, Splort, Splort, the marvel <laughs> of paper aviation lodged itself in Justin's tender eyeball. Mr. Thomas like bellowed that, their teacher. That creepy chuckle go that, to the uh, principal's like office. 
Anyway, Splort. That's uh, it's pretty vivid onomatopoeia there. Later that day, Elliot was cooing quietly to himself as he bought a candy bar in the lobby. Casey Witch Tits was smoking nearby and sneered at him. <laughs> You'll never fly, stinky crow, she laughed. Why don't you go jack off to some bird porn? <laughs> I bet you do more fapping than flapping. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Fuck you, screeched Elliot as he ran for the door. Anyway, um, it's kind of interesting here. They use Casey as a unisex name. I've never really heard of a girl with the name Casey. Weird. Anyway. It was dark out by the time Elliot meandered home. On the sidewalk, he passed a gaunt man who stared at him intently, desperately even. Uh-oh, stranger danger. The man opened his mouth and said, Uviwa, Uviza. <laughs> Elliot had planned to eat his candy bar tonight while he finished his masterpiece, but he instead held it out to the man. I know what you mean, he replied. Um, I, I don't. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in this exchange, um, but Garcia does a good job reading. You can obviously tell English is not his first language, but he gets through it. Let's go ahead and uh, try and finish the story up here. The schoolyard was packed the next morning as Elliot's classmates waited for first bell. Go, go! As one, the students turned toward the gate and saw Elliot dressed head to toe in his wingsuit. After a moment of shock, they burst into laughter. But they were already far below him. He swooped through their midst and into the school. Call, call! He bounded through the halls, zigzagged up the stairwell. Gah! The school let out a collective gasp when they saw a stinky crow on the roof. With a triumphant snap, he spread his wings, and a moment later, he had leapt. The next two seconds were the most beautiful of Elliot's entire life. He could feel their eyes upon him. He was flying, and their awe was keeping him aloft. Well, since it's only two seconds, pretty sure everybody watching and reading and listening to the story knows what happens to Elliot after those two seconds, but let's just go ahead and confirm it. Ten minutes later, as guidance counselors wiped bits of Elliot off sobbing students and the police struggled to piece together the story you are reading now, Elliot's teacher looked down at the wreckage of the boy on the pavement and never forgot what he saw. One bloody hand had formed a peace sign. The other was giving him the finger. It's like an Alanis Morissette song. <laughs> Straight Eat up. End. Okay, oh, man. lovely. I don't think I'll sleep for weeks. cojones. <laughs> Seriously. Well, you definitely know that something was up with that particular stranger that Elliot met a couple of pages ago, but as you can see here... The stinky crow ended up jumping off of a school building and to his end, but uh, still being quite defiant even in the end. So that is uh, the end of that particular tome, The Legend of Stinky Crow. And no doubt we will be running into Stinky Crow or Thomas Elliot. Elliot Thomas, I forgot which was his first or and which one was his, uh, his last name, but uh, whatever. Uh, we'll be running into him shortly most likely. So until then, like, favorite, and subscribe. Leave a comment. If you'd like to see me try anything, definitely make yourself heard. Take care, guys, and as always, peace out.